I don't know what's going on with me at the moment, but I wake up absolutely starving. So we're starting the day off with some pistachio cream on a scone. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Tasha. It's so nice to have you here. We're starting off slow this morning. I'm feeling a little bit sleepy, I'm not gonna lie. It was another fall asleep on the sofa situation last night. I'm really annoyed at myself because I didn't charge my whoop so I can't see my sleep analysis. Anyway, today's gonna be a really good day. We were gonna go to a pumpkin patch but I don't think we're gonna do that anymore. Maybe next weekend, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. But there's too many things. We need to go to M&S because we haven't done that. We're gonna treat ourselves to some really nice food because it is fight night tonight. It is the YouTuber social influencer boxing match and the main fight is KSI versus Tommy Fury. Now, it may surprise you that I'm actually watching this and it kind of surprises me as well because I've never really liked boxing, it's quite savage. But it's one of those ones where I can't help but watch. But also I just love anything that's like sports related or competitive. And also it is quite interesting to see how well people who aren't actually like boxers, I guess, can fight and how hard they've trained and I don't know. And also my boyfriend's into it. So I'm like, cool, let's watch it because it will make a fun night. So we're gonna make some really fun like Party food, I'm thinking, depending on what M&S have, I'm hoping they've got veggie hot dog sausages, I'd love to do that. But I really wanna try making a, like vegan loaded nachos. So that's gonna be a whole thing. I need to sort my hair out. It needs dyeing, but it also needs treatment. I need to do a bit of a, I don't know if it's a Brazilian blow dry or a keratin treatment. Are they the same thing? I don't know. So that's gonna be a whole ordeal because that, that takes long. Then I'm gonna go gym. <laughs> it is a beautiful day today as well. Right now, anyway, the sun is shining the light in here at the moment. It's just beautiful and it makes me so happy. Okay. We've just had a lovely little walk, haven't we? I'm gonna show you guys what I got. We went to M&S because M&S's food is just top tier. It really is, it's so good. And we wanted to treat ourselves because why the hell not? Not all of this is for tonight, by the way, but I just, I picked up some stuff that I know that I like that I can have in the fridge for another day or a lazy day. So we got some vegan Kievs. These are the best ones I've tried. These are the only ones I like. They are insanely good. And I feel like if you did eat meat and you tried these, you wouldn't know that they are vegan. Wood-fired vegan margarita pizza. There was one left, so I took it because every time I go, they're always sold out. Mustard, Tabasco. I've got some posh vegan hot dogs as well. This is my favorite pesto. It's so, so nice. So I got two of those. Some black olives for the nachos. This cordial is so nice. I got some fizzy water. I've actually now finally got my soda stream here, but I need to get a refill of the gas cylinder thing that you put in the back. Obviously I could buy it on Amazon as well, but actually if you take back your old canisters, you get money off the new ones. So I need to do that as well. I think I've got about three old ones. So I just got some bottled water. I know it's not the best, but it is what it is today. We've got some more olive oil. We've got some two cups of lightly salted tortillas for the nachos. I did pop into Boots as well and get some Eco Styler gel because I've run out. 
sweet corn for the macros. I picked these up in Tesco's. They are meat free raiders, so like chicken bites, but they're really nice. I don't think they're the best for you. Obviously they're processed, so shit, but fun for like party food. Of course, my favorite vegan cheese. This is so good and it melts quite nicely as well. It's really good for grilled cheese sandwiches. Also meat-free mints, submarine rolls. I don't know what that means, but just hot dog rolls. <laughs> and avocado for the guac. My boyfriend is a chocolate addict, like he's a fiend for chocolate. <laughs> so we got these, these are insane. Aldi also do their own version, which obviously way cheaper. And the Aldi ones are insane also. We also got two donuts. I got a little sourdough bread because I just can't eat anything else but this kind of bread at the moment. Sliced bread just doesn't cut it for me anymore. We've got some chipolatas for the boyfriend, some coriander, spring onions. We also got some nocellara olives. These are the best olives you will ever try in your life. Screenshot this now. <laughs> Go to M&S and pick them up. I saw that M&S had some kimchi and I thought I'm going to try that because obviously it's really good for your gut, which I think I probably need. It would just be a nice new flavour to add into my kitchen. Robson's got his jumper on and he's loving it. I'm gonna give my mum a quick call whilst I pack this stuff away. You better leave, he's obsessed with this. Leave the pumpkin alone. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, gorgeous? How fitting. Prime sent my boyfriend a load of drinks recently, so that's quite funny, actually. Kitchen put away, that's all sorted. Let's go dye my hair. I've just come down to do my hair and I haven't got enough developer. <laughs> Look, I've even got the gloves on and everything. I was so ready. I'm so annoyed at myself because I knew that and I said I was gonna order some and I completely forgot. So we're gonna have to take a rain check. The pre-workout situation is always the same. I'm using Women's Best. This flavor is Sweet Peach. Uh, obviously I'm gonna take my creatine. I try to remember to take this every day. I find it difficult to remember when I'm not training consistently. So that is another thing that I need to make sure I'm doing. This is amazing for like strength, endurance, recovery. I've seen a lot of research actually that it's really good for women and mental health and stuff as well. But yeah, it's just great for performance. I feel so much stronger since taking this. Obviously you have to wait a while for it to build up in your system before you notice the difference, but I've definitely noticed the difference and I'm definitely building muscle. Love that. And then for my aminos, I think I'm gonna go for berry cherry. I love this flavor. I've got three flavors that I really love. Berry cherry, the honey G one and the lychee one. Top tier. Okay, let's do this. This whole box is for us. I'm not being funny, but that's bloody ridiculous. <laughs> you know what the craziest part is? There's more parcels downstairs. <laughs> I just couldn't carry them all. But in my defense, these aren't all for me. Some of them are actually for my boyfriend. Look at this roll. Oh my God, I can't cope with you. You're so cute. Anyway, I'm not gonna show you this ASOS stuff because I will be making content on Insta with this stuff. I'm really excited about this brief. It's very me and it's kind of Halloween-y. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to open it and try everything on actually make sure everything fits. If you do wanna see that stuff, be sure to follow my Instagram. Also, things are kind of running behind schedule. It is 
4 p.m. already. I actually don't understand where the time goes. Like it completely baffles me. Um, gym session was decent. Decent? Decent. As much as I love it, I am struggling to get in the zone at the moment. I don't know what it is. I'm very much in my head. I think it is my anxiety. Like no music is giving me the right vibe. Like, you know when you have a song or a few sets of songs where you're like, yeah, this gets me in the zone. Like nothing's working for me, for me at the moment. But it was a decent gym session. The weights I wanted to use, I didn't have. So I had to go a little bit higher, but actually that was really good because I surprised myself in how much stronger I'm getting. It was way busier than I thought it would be for a Saturday, to be honest. Yeah, I'm glad I got that out of the way, actually. I feel like this has worked out very well. I'll get my hair dye stuff tomorrow. So we'll have like a whole self-care beauty day tomorrow. Tonight is just pigging out basically so i feel like the whole thing starts in maybe like two or three hours so we don't have that much time high five if you're a good boy <gasps> yay get the whirlies on best whirlies ever i'll link them down below they're so cute ready let's go good boy Guys, we even got the sofa bed out. The fights that we've been waiting for are about to start. Next up is Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis, and then KSI Tommy Fury. Oh, that would be so embarrassing. Imagine me in the end doing that. <laughs> Fucking embarrassing, that. <laughs> Back, 
Can you describe the emotions that you're all feeling after that victory? First things first, I want to thank the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the victory today. We are in love, this is the bottom. Thank you to everybody in Manchester for doing it now. I did it for you. I did it for you, Manchester. I love you. He then said that he was a barber and said that the others should make fun of him for it. Kind of in a rush. We're off to an event now with Boohoo Man. We're going to the Everyman Cinema, which you guys will know is kind of our favourite place, so very exciting. <laughs> Take the cap off and <laughs> syringe it into your mouth. That sounds a bit mad, that, doesn't it? <laughs> right, you go first, so I can see how you do it. <laughs> oh, Everyone, sit down. Today, you're going to be watching The Exodus by Boohoo Man. Please turn your phones off. <laughs> It's been about 10 days since you've seen that last clip. What can I say? We've been busy. We've been working, sorting the flat out. It's Saturday tomorrow and we're having like a prees and then we're going out for Halloween. So we've just been doing bits and bobs, do you know what I mean? Um, not me having a full on meltdown because I can't remember what I've done over the last 10 days. <laughs> we went to York on a little trip, which I didn't film because I just wanted to enjoy it. And it is beautiful, you guys. So you should definitely check York out. All those ASOS packages that you saw me come in with earlier on in the vlog, that was all um, stuff for like, like a sponsored shoot with ASOS. I had so much fun shooting actually, so I'm excited for you guys to see it. It's probably on my Instagram already. We also had a night out. One of my boyfriend's mates was like DJing at a drum and bass night, which was so much fun. Oh my God, as if I've still got the tag on here. <laughs> We're still yet to decorate with all the Halloween -y bits and I haven't even unboxed the stuff yet So hopefully we've got enough and hopefully it will look good. I'm really excited I've been very last minute with my Halloween costume. It's quite a like cliche one But I just feel like it works for me this year because of my hair color Also, it's gonna be so comfortable because it's not like a sexy Halloween costume, which I'm so excited about um, especially if we're going to like a rave. Yeah, that is basically what we've been up to. That Boohoo event was really fun. It was so funny. I didn't, I couldn't capture it on my phone. It was too dark. But when we was coming in, they had like these girls, which you'd have seen dressed as nuns, like scaring us. And they were filming everyone's reaction. It was really funny because me and Joshua just, we were both just like, hey. <laughs> I feel like it's really hard to scare us. But some of the other people's reactions here and there was hilarious as for the film i'm not gonna lie it wasn't my favorite exorcist film you guys know what i'm like though like i need a horror movie to be like actually scary i don't know i don't know it wasn't my bag it wasn't my favorite i didn't really get what the plot was stuff happened but there wasn't like a real story but it was still fun to watch like i love a horror movie either way we had some food we had some drinks yeah it was just a cute night and we loved the everyman so it was such a cool place for boohoo man to hold an event 
Um, so yeah, thanks for having us, Boohoo Man. It was so fun. Today's the day. We've got about four hours until my friends get here and probably about six or seven hours until the pre-drinks start. And as you guys can probably tell, we still haven't put the Halloween decorations up. We've got a few boxes here, some bits of bobs here, a pumpkin destroyed. I told you this dog was obsessed. So we're gonna get decorating because we really don't have that long and we still need to do costumes, makeup. If you couldn't tell, I'm stressed. <laughs> I feel like I ordered so much more, but apparently not. What the hell is that? Oh, <laughs> let me zoom you in actually. Whoa, yeah. candles. Oh, that's sick. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. I'd have that out all year it's round. It's sick, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> fucking sick. Wow. They're See, LED again. candles as well. Every, all year round. Wow. Right, let's do it, shall we? We're finally set up. I'm gonna wait to show you guys till later because I think it will look way cooler in the dark. Also, there's barely any time left, so in a kind of a time crunch right now to finish getting ready, I need to get my hair and makeup and costume all together. And there's just no time, and to be honest, I'm a little bit stressed. <laughs> guys i did the thing that i always say i'm gonna try not to do i got too excited and had too much fun I didn't vlog anything and it's always a bit awkward because obviously there's a lot of my boyfriend's friends so i don't want to have my massive camera and vlog around them or make anyone feel uncomfortable and i wanted to vlog getting ready with my friends but it was kind of a bit of a shambles <laughs> we had no time but yeah i got a photo and that little clip so hopefully you can kind of get the costume so comfortable all night by the way it was great <laughs> but yeah we just went to freight island which is pretty cool and then right next to it is warehouse project i'm not gonna lie though it literally took me probably about three days to recover i had a prime as like my mixer and one of my drinks before we left the house and we left the house at like maybe 9 30 10 and you guys those pri i don't know how much caffeine is in there but never again <laughs> and then somebody bought me a drink with a red bull <laughs> First of all, I don't like Red Bull. Secondly, I was like, I don't need this right now. And yeah, the caffeine just sent me over the edge. So I ended up just drinking water for like a lot of the rest of the night. But we got back, went to bed at like six, couldn't sleep. It was horrible. <laughs> I don't even think I was hungover. I think I just didn't sleep because I didn't drink that much. I just can't hack it anymore. I can't drink because alcohol makes my sleep really bad. Then I had caffeine, like a lot of caffeine on top of that. Yeah, it was just a mess. But I'm fine now, I've recovered finally, so that's good. I don't know if I'll be drinking again for a while. And I'll definitely never have an energy drink in the evening ever again. So yeah, just spent the week recovering basically and doing some work bits. Joshua and I went to the spa as well. For his birthday, I booked two places at this lovely spa. So we went there, had a little gym sesh and just chilled out and that was so nice. I think it was very needed. But it's the 3rd of November now. The Halloween decorations are still up. I kind of don't want to let go of them. Like, 
I just love it, I'm obsessed. Christmas is cute, but it doesn't spark joy in the same way for me, like it really doesn't. I don't know what it is about Halloween, I've just always loved it. So I'm gonna be sad to take the decorations down in the next vlog and I guess start decorating for Christmas, just getting the Christmas vibes going before there's nothing left in the shots to be able to make the house Christmassy because everything just seems to be going at super speed right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog anyway. I know it's quite a long one, a bit of a mishmash, but I thought I'd put it all together because Time's just going so damn quickly. Let me know if you made it this far by leaving a little pumpkin emoji. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.